Uh, Mr. Price, please. Whom shall I say is calling? Well, the name is Asher. Oh, yes. Go right on in, please. Well, the Asher. Hello, Mr. Price. Hello there. Sit down. I'm glad you could come today. We'd better take care of this matter as soon as possible. We're a little curious. You know, I never even met Bill's Aunt Emily. Miss Asher was a rare individual. Always had a lot of ideas about how people should live. This is a copy of the will which Miss Asher's attorney sent. I, Emily Jane Asher, being of sound mind and body, Oh, I'll skip the whereas, as I know you're not interested in that. Miss Asher left a lot of money and personal effects to friends and servants, but the bulk of her estate she left to you. She what? I never expected anything like this. Provided. And here's the part that's important as far as you're concerned. Provided that before title to said property shall pass to William Jonathan Asher, he shall within six months of date, upon which he is notified of the provisions of this document, have acquainted himself with my native state in which these properties are located. He shall make such travels as are deemed necessary and pertinent by the executor. It is my earnest hope that at the fulfillment of this requirement, William Jonathan Asher shall have gained some understanding of my love for this land, which has been so good to me, and that he shall appreciate the reasons for this provision. That means we have to visit Kansas. That's what it means. Kansas. Have you ever been there? No, Aunt Emily always visited the family here. I suppose we'll have to do it, though. You may be surprised, Bill. You'll see things out there you never expected to find. Here's the man you're to see, and you have six months from today. Well, thank you, Mr. Price. Goodbye, Mr. Price. Drop me a line and let me know how you're getting along. Yeah. Regards from nowhere. So here we have Bill and Mary Asher, two normal young people faced with a somewhat abnormal situation. But the preparations for the trip seem to be right in line. Mary, a typical helpful female, has the solution to the packing. While Bill, the male of the species, loads the car. It seemed almost no time until Bill and Mary, city dwellers, approached the wide open spaces of which they knew so little. Was this the land Aunt Emily had in her strange way brought them to see? Indeed, this was the land. So this is Kansas. That's what the map says. <laughs> well, it's certainly different from what I'd expect. Boy, it sure is. Look at those hills and trees. <laughs> hey, we better get started. Okay, we're off. Yes, this was it, an amazing land, a land of trees and hills and fertile plains, a land of wealth and distance and blue skies. This was a land of beauty, one of quiet streams flowing through sunlit valleys. And this was a land of rugged landscapes, banks of rocks set off by the greenness of the surrounding trees. Mary and Bill saw the state capitol in Topeka, seat of Kansas government and gathering place for visitors. Down the long halls of the capitol, they saw much of the exciting history of Kansas unfold in the beautiful murals by John Stuart Curry. The deeds of John Brown and those who followed him seem almost to come to life in the vivid portrayal of the events in the life of this rabid Kansan. Old John Brown, whose violent exploits awakened the new frontier, glares down from the walls of the Capitol. John Brown's statue stands near his home, still preserved in Memorial Park. Next, the Kansas Historical Society beckoned to Mary and Bill. In this building are preserved the relics of war and of peace. Here, more of the wild and bloody history of Aunt Emily's home state unfolded for the visitors. It was a story of struggle and strife, of bad men and crusaders. It was the fascinating story of Dodd City, the Chisholm Trail, and Boot Hill Cemetery. Here, the colorful characters of early day Kansas often died with their boots on, leaving behind familiar names in the annals of the Wild West. 
Yet the Wild West still lives today in the lively pageantry of the cowboy's holiday, the rodeo. Colorful garb and beautiful horses provide the festive setting. Now a stagecoach brings back memories of the early days of Wells Fargo and Wild Bill Hickok. And the daily work of the modern cowboy becomes a thrilling spectacle for the visitor. This is the new frontier at its best. Here, the original American dwells side by side with the descendants of the homesteaders who followed the Santa Fe Trail into the West. <laughs> 